<laughs> well, yeah, I mean, as does everything else. I mean, just on principle, because Comixology is like the to me, it was the Kindle for comic books as far as a, a platform. And of course, of course, Comixology was you know on all the platforms. It was on Kindle. It was on iPhone. It's on. It's on everywhere. You buy your comics here, you will have access to it everywhere uh now i got i've gone a different route with uh marvel unlimited and they're just finally getting to that point of quality uh especially in the frame the frame that they do mm -hmm. excuse me uh that i expected out of comiXology so this makes sense it's the top publishing platform for all these it, it, it makes sense for amazon to buy these guys much like it made sense for them to buy audible so do you think you'll be getting a, a back a backlog of of free kind of that that concept of how they do with their if you if you're a Kindle owner you get a, some free books every month do you think you'll be seeing back catalog of um, free comics no for Prime members no 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 why not because the publishers ah uh, the the publishers I I. I I was sat in on a couple of them when they were talking a, year, a couple of years ago when they were talking about digital publishing. Um, they, I mean, look at the progress of digital publishing with the comic books. Um, they are very, very gun shy. Yeah, they have like Marvel Unlimited now, but that's just Marvel. DC doesn't have anything equivalent, and I really can't see them doing too much of that. You know, I, 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 I would be very surprised if it became a regular thing. And if they did, to me, as a comic book fan, I think it would be so spotty, I wouldn't care. Because you wouldn't care what? I, 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 I wouldn't care if it was an option. Um, because, like, the way I read comics, it's like, I need to be able to read through comics. Now, when I go to Marvel Unlimited, I know I can read through an entire series up until a certain point, which is about six months six months ago right mm -hmm. and i know and i sit there for me monday is new comic book day but new comic book day for me are the comic books that everybody else went to midtown comics on you know six months ago for you know okay. i'm catching up i'm just now in the middle of battle of the atom which was i think last summer's event maybe uh for the x-men uh, i'm really enjoying it by the way um and 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 i have my books that I'm reading through and everything and I go back and say ah, let's go see let's go back and see what the superior Spider-Man stuff was about and go get caught up on that and go get caught up on this other thing and go see what this Avengers title is about getting started on Guardians of the Galaxy uh, from the last reboot you know to catch up before the movie comes out um, you know that I just don't see anything satisfying in that way coming out from uh, the publisher relationship with Amazon uh, from this comicsology uh, connection. That's my opinion. I mean, it could, I could be completely wrong, but I, I just don't expect that from them. I just don't know why they wouldn't give give someone to get them in there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or get that additional. User. You'll have random. I mean, you'll have. I mean, I think you'll have random free issues, but I think I don't think that's. I don't think it's something. It, it's hey, here's the first three issues of Captain America. It's just so hopefully you'll buy the rest of them, sure. Which, yeah, that's what all this th stuff means. Because you keep getting, oh, I need to read the next issue of Superior Spider-Man to see what happens. Well, I could wait a month for them to finally release the issue from six months ago. Or I can click that little thing and buy it for $1.99 digitally. And it's going to push me over to their Comixology Marvel app, most likely. Um... But it's a little broader. I can I can survive and read enough and be satisfied within the ecosystem that I'm paying ten bucks a month for, um, versus versus this Prime thing. I just don't I, I don't think they'll have anything equivalent. I, I think if they do, it's just not going to be substantial. But they say the books the books is pretty rough with selection too. If you're on Prime for that, now I don't own a Kindle, so I'm I don't have access to that. Even though I have access to all the video and everything on Prime, so. But I hear, I hear it's not really worth it.